I was asked to show some more stretching. So I took all of my favorite stretches and I put them together for you in a sort of flow throughout. Now I love moving. Once upon a time I was a dancer. So a lot of my stretches sort of move or rock back and forth, just really gently going from one to the other. I find that my body just likes to move and breathe while I'm stretching instead of just maybe holding one stretch for a really long time, which is fine too. And I do that sometimes, but uh, I'll show you what I got today. So we're going to start with that yummy cat cow exercise if you're familiar in yoga. So you're just going to go onto all fours, hands and knees, and you'll start by tucking the tailbone and rounding the back into your cat pose as you exhale. As you inhale, you're going to start arching the spine one vertebra at a time and look up slightly. Exhale. and inhale. Now what's really yummy is to exhale and sit back into a sort of child's pose and then come forward into your cat. It's really nice. So keep moving through that with the breath. Exhale, sit back. Inhale, pass through to your cow pose. Exhale, one more time. And arching. Tuck your toes under and press up into a down dog. You can pedal out the feet a little if you want to, just to stretch the calves. And now we're going to flow between down dog and up dog. So here's your down dog. And then you're going to, just like we did rounding the back, starting at the tailbone, roll through into extension, into up dog. And then lift your hips back to down dog. Exhale as you roll through and arch. So it's sort of just a bigger version of what we just did. Warming up the spine. And roll it through. Let's do one more. And stretch it through, open the chest. Ah, it feels so nice. Bring your knees down and you're just going to bring one leg forward and maybe walk the other leg out a little farther behind you. You want your knee of that front foot over the ankle and just put your hands on either sides and just stretch that hip flexor. With the back leg, go ahead and tuck your toes under because what we'll do is we'll go from hip flexor stretch, bring the hips back to hamstring stretch. So nice, feel that in the hamstrings as much as you like and you can hold it for a long time or a short time. But I'm gonna move in between the two with the breath. So inhale and exhale. And you wanna flex that foot for more of a hamstring stretch, it gets more intense that way. But of course, everything should feel good should be easy, easy on the body. You don't want to hurt yourself. That's not what we're going for here. And when that feels good, go back to all fours and then step up the other foot. Get a nice hip flexor stretch to begin. Make sure that knee is over the ankle and then you can go back to your hamstring stretch. And you can have your foot flat or toes tucked under. I said tuck under just because it gives you a little more stability as you move, but really whatever's comfortable for you. 
stretch that ham. Oh, those hammies, they get tight. Breathe in. And breathe out. Let's do one more like this. Bring it back to all fours. Get your hands, nice wide fingers on the mat and lower yourself all the way down. You're gonna come onto your forearms. Elbows should be under your shoulders and your elbows bent at 90 degrees, hands flat on the floor. And just bring your chest through your hands isometrically. So it feels like you're bringing your chest through your hands, bring your shoulders down away from your ears your scapula together behind you, and just feel that lovely openness through the chest. And breathe into that, and then carefully lower yourself down. Press yourself back to all fours. Press yourself back to down dog, and walk your hands back to your feet. Grab opposite elbows and just dangle. This feels so nice. It's so lovely for the lower back. You can sway side to side. You can nod your head yes. You can shake it no. Have your knees a little bit soft or bent if that feels good. Drop your hands and then we're going to just roll up really slowly, vertebra by vertebra, stacking the spine one on top of the other and here just reach up big stretch open the chest and then bring your hands behind you and clasp your fingers stretch them away stretch your shoulders back extend through the upper back and then when you're ready just slowly begin to fold forward with your hands coming up and overhead and then just dangle again but this time you're getting a really lovely opening through the shoulders i like to wiggle here a little bit i'm a wiggler all the way <laughs> if you're a wiggler tell me in the comments <laughs> Wonderful, and then drop your arms down. And again, walk out, coming down to your hands and knees, and then cross your feet behind you and sit down onto your bottom. So first we're going to do butterfly pose, which I really love, Baddha Konasana. So you'll bring your bottoms of the feet together, let your knees just fall out to the side. You can hold your feet, kind of open them as a book. Sit up really nice and tall. Try to get a very tall spine here, and that might be where you stay. Or if you have a little more flexibility, you can start to come forward, but I don't want you to round forward. Keep that spine upright, keep it straight. You can use your feet to sort of pull yourself forward a little bit, but really gently keep that spine straight and come forward. If you can put your forearms down, that's fine. And just breathe into that for a moment. And gently bring it on back up. And then I'm gonna have you sit cross-legged. Now, I like to put my non-dominant foot in front sometimes just to switch it up make sure i don't favor one side too much so that's up to you we're going to lift up our arms and we're going to twist so put your hand on your opposite knee and the other hand is just going onto the floor behind you sit up nice and tall and twist so as you inhale get taller and as you exhale twist a little bit deeper Two more breaths, just like that. And 
slowly come back around, always slow with stretching, hands up and we'll go down to the other side. So whew, straighten up, feels good. And exhale it and twist. Taller with the inhale, a little deeper twist with the exhale. Nice and easy. We're just doing the upper body. This is just the rib cage turning, not the hips. The hips are staying in place. Great. And now one I love a lot, put one hand out and take the other hand up and over. Get a nice side stretch. Make sure it's pure side flexion. You're not going down or up. It's just facing me. And then you're going to turn down and roll through the spine to the other side. How nice is that, right? So now you're up facing me side and we'll do it again. Down and around. And you can just keep doing this with your breath. Inhale. Exhale as you go around. Inhale as you come up. Exhale as you go around. Oh, it's so nice. Inhale up. Exhale around. And do a couple more of those. And when that feels good, you can come on up. Let's just do a little gentle neck roll. Drop your chin towards your chest. Roll to one side. Make sure you're bringing your ear towards your shoulder and not your shoulder towards your ear. Shoulders are staying down. Just real gentle. One more time each way. Don't you feel amazing? I just love these stretches. It makes me feel so great. And then bring the head back to center. Just nice, one big inhale. Overhead with the hands. And exhale, you can bring your hands down to prayer. A little nod to yoga, namaste. I hope you enjoyed those stretches and that you feel wonderful moving your body and getting a little more flexible. It really makes a difference. It's a mood booster, you know? If you agree, give me a like, subscribe to my channel. I have so much coming out. Hit the notifications bell so you'll be the first to know when a new video comes out. And comment below, let me know your thoughts and how you liked it, and I'll see you soon.